It took three and a half minutes to plunge into the ocean, killing all 228 people on board. A report into the Air France plane, which crashed into the Atlantic two years ago, has revealed how the aircraft stalled, then lost speed, as two co-pilots struggled in vain to regain control. The findings show that the captain had been on a break when the Airbus hit heavy turbulence and never retook control of the aircraft. Carl Dinan reports. The flight recorders are kept submerged in water until the last moment to minimise the corrosive effects of the air. Today, they started to reveal their secrets. Air France 447 was two hours and ten minutes into its flight from Rio to Paris when turbulence knocked the aircraft to the right. The pilot in control corrected the course but also pulled up. The plane's stall warning sounded, meaning it risked losing height. Analysts believe that pulling up could have been a critical pilot error. What they should have done is to continue flying the aircraft straight and level with the power exactly where it was before. And if they had done that, everybody would still be here today. It took nearly two years of searching to find the flight recorders which could solve one of the most perplexing and therefore worrying air accidents of recent years. Recovered two and a half miles underwater, the recorders suggest no problem with the plane's engines. But its speed sensors were malfunctioning. The pilots didn't know how fast they were going. A minute later, the Airbus had risen to 38,000 feet, but from there it began a three and a half minute drop. The pilots were wrestling with an aircraft which was rolling heavily from side to side. They were struggling to respond to alarms. The captain, who'd been resting, arrived back in the cockpit but did not take back control from his more junior colleagues. The recovery of the flight recorders has been a considerable achievement and they have more to reveal when the final report is released next year. But today we learned that the last thing they recorded was that the nose of the plane was still pitched up and the engines were still working. But the plane was travelling at just 120 miles an hour and had been dropping at 11,000 feet a minute. Representatives of the passengers' families today said they've been told it's unlikely their loved ones knew how bad the situation was, although it's clear now that the crew must have done.